All right, let's finish building out our header. So if we go back to our browser and see what we already have, then what we need to build next is these info cards in the top right of the header. So we're gonna build those out. And then after that, we're gonna focus on the data that we need to make them work and display the correct information. So let's head over to our editor. And right off the bat, I just wanna create a new component called InfoCard. And we're gonna create InfoCard.jsx and InfoCard module CSS. Inside of InfoCard, we create a functional component and we give it a div. And let's import styles while we're at it. So we're gonna give it a class name of InfoCard. And inside of here, we need a header and we need a ticker and an amount. So let's look at this. We're gonna create an H1 and we're gonna say, so we needed a title, a stock object that has a ticker and amount. And then we're also gonna need a dark mode property in order to achieve this um, difference in, in how they look. So those are the three properties that we are going to be accepting. And then we'll say title here. And then we'll have a container that will contain a paragraph with the stock.ticker and a paragraph with the stock.amount. And then we need to return this. All right, so let's give a the header a class name of header and we'll give the paragraph oops we'll give the paragraph a class name of styles paragraph and we'll save that So uh, let's head over to app.js and import info card. And now we'll put it in the subheader inside its own container. And we're going <coughs> to, excuse me. Uh, we're actually going to create a app.module.css here. And we're going to have a class called InfoCard Container with display flex. And then we're going to import that here. And we are going to give this styles info card container. Now we'll change the structure uh, a little bit later, but for now, just to get it to look how we want it to look, we'll uh, have it like this, but at a later point, we'll organize our code into pages um, when we start getting into React Router and all of that stuff. So for now, uh, we're gonna keep this here and we're gonna create three of cards here and we're going to grab the titles from our sketch file. So title highest dividend yielding current year and then we need the stock. It's going to be an object with a ticker and an amount. And then we'll grab the next title.
and we'll just copy this card two times and we'll plug in the other titles. And instead of 20 years, we're going to just say all time here. And the last one is highest dividend yield growth. So we'll grab that and plug that in here as well. So if we save now and take a look, then um, we are able to display the cards here, but obviously we need to style them in order to get the look that we want. So let's go back to our editor and we'll go to info card module.css and we'll say info card and the background the color is going to be white uh, border radius 8 pixels we'll give it a padding of 20 pixels um, we'll give it a color of let's see info card text color uh, I've added that as a variable here with the hex value of 2D88A8. So that's going to be the color for our card. And then we're going to say display flex. And we're going to say uh, flex direction column, which is going to make it a vertical flex box. And then we're going to justify content space between. And we're going to give it a width of 95 pixels. And a margin of 0, 8 pixels. Save that. Now, we're getting there. We need to work a little bit on the header here. So the header is going to get a font size of 0 0.9 rem. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. So I'm going to work on implementing the dark mode now. So what we want to do is we want to stop our development server and we want to do yarn add class names. So that's just a small package that is going to make it a little bit easier for us to work with conditionally applying classes to our elements. So I want to go back to info card and up top I want to import class names from class names. And uh, I also started my development server again so we're going to see that it launches that and just reloads the page. But we're going to go back to our editor and keep working. So we have the class names here now. So what it does is it is a function that as the first argument, it takes the class you want to apply unconditionally. So here we want to have info card at all times. And then it takes an object with the classes that you want to apply based on the condition. So we want to say styles.darkmode equals or um, colon dark mode. So if this condition is true, then we want to apply this class. And now we can take the entire variable and put it in here and hit save and if we go to info card module.css now we can do dark mode and we can say background color and we want to say var and I have it in index.css info card dark BG color, which is uh, hex 1B5265. And we're going to pop that in here and we're going to give it a color of FFF. 
So now, if we go to app.js and we put dark mode here, we should be able to see that we have a different color on our last card. Perfect. So uh, one thing I noticed is if we scroll back and forth, we have a little bit of an overflow here. So we're going to fix that as well. Uh, we're going to go to our header, CSS, and we're going to remove the width 100%. So that takes care of that. And now I want to change uh, a little bit in this subheader here because I want it to be a little bit more equal. So I want to go to the subheader CSS and I want to change this to justify content space between. And I want to go to the Exchange list, I want to remove that margin right. So now we have equal space between here, but it's still a little bit cramped. So I think what we'll do is we'll take the size width variable that we've created and we'll increase the value a little bit. So here it is, site width. It's currently at 1024. Uh, so I want to see if we can bump it up to maybe 1100. So let's go ahead and go to index CSS. We'll take site width and we'll say 1100 and we'll hit save. And one final thing in subheader, we are going to see if we can increase the padding top and bottom a little bit like that. All right, so now we have our header done. And in the next video, we'll look at creating the functions that will retrieve the information for these info cards. And after that, we'll get started on this list down here. So thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video.